Hey everyone, and welcome to Tech Down Over. I'm Rick Zanotti, and I'm joined today by my good friend from Down Under, Jeff Blanchard. Jeff, how are you today? Good, thank you, Rick. Still in lockdown. I'll be glad when we can get out and start filming and taking the cameras out. And so you can't even drive to... around and maybe take videos or something. No, 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 no. no that's not all. That's one of the things, you know, four reasons that we're allowed to do. I think is, you know, we're getting your groceries, going to the doctors. Uh, caregiving and uh, and work that's about okay <clears throat> i've noticed something well, well we'll talk about it in a moment but and joining us also will be harold muliati he's off camera now he'll be back in a moment here we go you can't be on the beach they were on the beach this show is sponsored by Relay Corporation. Digital learning development, media development, corporate video, management consulting, and more. Visit us at www.relate.com. Thanks. You know, we shouldn't be on the beach during this horrible time. Well, well I'll tell you, the, the funny thing is, I don't know what we said last week, but here I can go on the beach and surf but I can't put go on a little rowboat on the beach. I'll get fined sixteen hundred dollars. Oh, but I'm allowed to go 60. surfing. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with the rowboat? Oh no, that yeah, that's that's totally forbidden. Or on a you know one of one of those big surfboard the paddle things because that's classed as a boat. But you, go, you can go surfing. But uh, I thought, yeah, well, a bit silly anyway. Yes, so our great leaders. One's, mm -hmm. we paddle one's, boards one's a problem. Are classed as boats there. Yeah, yeah they do that here too. They said you can't paddle, go on a paddle boat. It? Yeah, because it's it's like a, a, a you know it's a surfboard really with the paddle on it, isn't it? Like a mm -hmm. big one, but uh, but I think what you know they're not doing much at, not trouble out there. But I suppose what it is is it's not doing the actual activity. It's all the things you could be touching and doing that on the way getting there. I think that's probably what the yeah, but nothing about. and the water would kill most viruses, especially salt water. And and so. also the sun does as well. So mm -hmm. when you're out in the sun, that's better than being that's stuck right. in because of the. Yes, Best thing for clothing and all that. Just stick I it know. in the sunlight. But <laughs> our illustrious leaders are all trained in science. Not. Yeah. Well. Not, not, no. Not. It's just. It's just. The, it's just a popular thing at the moment, isn't I know. it? You know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, Jeff, you, this microphone that I've got on today. You, you remember that WH thirty, the old Shure one yes. that was like a big piece of metal on you? This is not as bad, but it's similar. You've got the two little electric rods here. It looks like they're going to give you a shock. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You know what it is. This is designed for rock drummers, uh, singers. Yeah. So they probably that figure you have a little longer hair and you can hide it. So if I was younger, I could have hidden it because I had longer hair. But here, no. Um, so you see these things. And they've got padding. So they're comfortable enough. It's not too much pressure. And it has a pretty good sound for, you know, again, you, don't ha you have no proximity effect. And it's very similar to the Shure capsule. It's got a roundish oh. capsule, about an inch round, and you can angle it up or down a little bit. I've got it pretty much up right now. And the price is pretty good. It's $130. Oh, that's not a bad one, that other one. The other one was about 169 if I remember right. Exactly, rightly. yeah, the this one's one. about 130 It's an Audio-Technica 75M, or actually ATM 75. But it doesn't exist anymore. Then there's a new version oh. of it. Looks the same, which is the ATM 75CH. So that's the current one. This is the original one. This is probably the only review on the internet that we did that of this that we did one earlier this week on this particular mic. It doesn't exist. <laughs> you know, you can buy it on Amazon and you could buy it at Sweetwater, but it doesn't really exist. It's excess inventory from the ten that they originally made. So yeah. Rick and I were trying to find reviews of this thing. Nothing. We found one video review, but it was in Korean. South Korean, probably, yeah. or maybe North Korean. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> it's that no, obscure. I don't, think it was South <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's quite that bad. It, it, it may has have been King Jong Un's last one. You know, the only mic he ever had. He lost it. So, but, <laughs> but yeah, the the one that Rick's wearing now, oops, has been discontinued. So while you can still buy them, because a lot of the online stores still have them in stock, mm -hmm. they're you know. It's Quite a good rare. mic. It has a nice sound to it. Not the, I, w I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable in terms of having to have this on you like that. And I did loosen a little bit more pre-show. 
Uh, but it is. It does have a fairly good sound. It's it's very articulating. You can put it on left or right mm-hmm. side. So it just depends how you want want to put it on. It does sound okay for a mic. It's okay. It's not as good as this, which is the M4 or MK4 mm. from Sennheiser. This is this is a good mic. But anyway, I think. It, but the thing is, the thing is, as well, Rick, when you have things like those, the headset you're wearing, it might be slightly uncomfortable now when you're you're wearing it for half an hour. But if you're in that sort of situation where you need that and you're going to be having it on for hours, it doesn't take too long before they become no. quite comfortable. Yeah, you get and the used thing to is it. with those. They hold so nice and permanently. Like some yeah. of the other ones, like the ones Harold's wearing, is nice, but they're a bit flimsier and, and that, and right. they're harder to put on. <laughs> These ones are more steady, so if you've got a lot of work to slam it on, and then you don't have to have the big cans either. You can like you've got no. your little earbuds in mm-hmm. and still do that. The only thing is, a lot of people this is for music. Can. can you hear that? Yeah. So it's noisy. That is kind of odd, actually. So this is making a lot of noise. If I shake my head for, I'm a drummer. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's just moving like crazy. So that's a little bit odd. So you know, maybe that's why it's 130 bucks. They left a gasket out or something. Who knows? Um, well, I suppose it only. Affects- well, I suppose it'll only affect Bill Collins because he was the only one who was drumming and singing. Most That's of them, true. Most yeah. of the drum- well, there were a couple of others. There was one from Grand Funk Railroad. He sang and, and drummed, uh, yeah. one of the singers. Uh, who else? Karen who Carpenter. Karen, Karen Carpenter. Carpenter, yeah. She, did. Yeah. she went on the drums and sang, didn't she, sometimes? Yeah, then she, so. she got off later when she got famous. Didn't they? She just started singing. Mm. But um, <clears throat> Actually, it's funny. A friend of mine went to the same drumming school that she did. It was a guy called oh, Bill yeah. Douglas. He was a famous jazz drummer. And she and he were the first two black belts in drumming that he gave out. Oh. He would give you a black belt in drumming, and he, it was hard. The drumming that they did, she was a good drummer, actually. She knew how to drum. Aside from you know what they did with the carpenters was very mild and simple. But she could drum very fast, good jazz and rock rhythms, uh, yeah, beats. It was pretty amazing. My friend could do that, too. It's like, wow. It was uh, it was fun to watch them, and this guy was a very good drummer, big, tall guy, and he knew how to how to hit those. That, and, uh, that, but, you know, yeah. people think some people think that that's such a an easy thing to learn, but yeah. even if you know all the all the right rhythms and all that, it's just keeping the time. You're yeah. the main thing. Every everything depends on you. You can't. Mm-hmm. You've got to be consistent, and it's just so hard. Even when yourself, you do it. You think it's just so hard. You're the one that everybody's yeah. going by. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. That's where something like like having those headsets, you know, as I suppose in the older days, where they'd have to have the microphones, it would definitely be come with a lot of noise with all the banging. At least that oh, yeah. reduces a lot of on yeah. that. But maybe I don't know. Maybe that shaking around, but just don't well, shake it. Let's see. Let's like see. That. If I'm here, mm-hmm. are you hearing that? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, hear yeah. That, so if so. I was drumming, this would be noisy. Yeah, so I don't know how right, they so. get around that, but. It's interesting, but uh, it's it's, it's it, like those ones. Uh, the, the, the I suppose one of the good headsets I always look at. Uh, I look at when you see these uh, people doing the news reports out of the mm. traffic helicopter. Yep, they've got say, that hey, big. That's, yeah. that's all that about vibration, all that noise. If you can hear, if they, that I think they were the Behringer headsets. I think uh, they I use think a lot of the Behringer or the uh, or Sennheiser. Sennheisers also make yeah. the the sports uh, headsets. Just, They're about five hundred bucks. Said, and the, but the so close proximity that that microphone, if you like the way you're wearing it there, it probably wouldn't work. They'll probably have to get no. it a couple of a bit I'd, closer. I'd have to go up have here to, like this. Yeah, right close. I think on those. So ones, now, how does that so sound? Close. Does that sound a lot different? Yeah, yeah that sounds. Does, yeah, and you said you. Is that a little bit too careful. loud? Not too loud, but it just does sound like really nice though. But you just have to be careful with the so plosives. Now, yeah, it's yeah. really close. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Yeah, even that's not too bad, but you probably no. just turn your gain down slightly if you. And then it's do uh, that, it's but lot, but yeah, I think it's meant more to be probably here. I guess if yeah, you're drumming, the, you would put it right up on your mouth. Yeah, but as I said, it's only if you had lots yeah. more noise out there. You're mm-hmm. trying to do that. The closer yep. you do get, it's, uh, and it's only people like us who are obsessed with having nice sound, not having anything bleeding from the yeah. outside. <laughs> Lately, with all the trouble we've had with the. Uh, it's just annoying me how the professional people on the radio and the TV <laughs> don't care. 
And no. I thought some of the things that it sounds horrible. And I thought I can hear just basic things. I could make it sound better. And I thought, you know, n- but nobody tells and said, Hey, next time you come on, could you stop, get your mouth away from the front of the phone? Well, know, have you noticed one big- other thing that's really funny right now? Because people can't go to their hairdressers or their barbers. So if you look at some of the girls who do podcasts, like uh, this one Canadian gal, <laughs> she's actually really cute. Her, her name's Erin from Best Buy Canada or something like that. And I was watching her the other day and I was going, what happened? It's she went, she went from being a gorgeous <laughs> blonde with really nice blonde hair. It's now flat, really dark brown. Just She looks miserable. <laughs> And it's like, oh my gosh, what happened? Um, and, and a lot of people, I've watched a lot of the girl, but they look totally different. The hair is starting to do not look that good. Different colors are coming in. I was going, wow, that's interesting. And even the guys aren't looking too good. Their hair is all kind of messy. And it's funny. It's funny what, what, what hair dye will do to people. Hmm. Yeah, people aren't well, being it- able to get their trims. So we're going to see the werewolves start coming out. <clears throat> that's right. Well, it's going back to the old days where, you know, you, you just had to do think, some things yourself, where nowadays people say, oh, we can't afford this, we can't afford that. Now yeah. they're paying, you know, $25 worth of coffees a day. They're spending $300 every every month on hair, hair treatments. <laughs> and that was, you know, like me, I'm still in the old-fashioned way. Get the old clippers out and clip it and just wash it and brush it. That's it. Yep. <laughs> that too well. The best way to do it. Do it like um, so anyway, this week Canon made some announcements. Uh, oh. They finally confirmed the Canon EOS R5. I think it's 46 megapixel. It's something like that. They yeah. haven't given specific uh, numbers on on the pixel dimensions. However, they have confirmed that it's got it can record in 8K ultra high, high definition, which is 7680 by 4320. So the pictures will be at least that big if most likely bigger mm-hmm. which which would be nice but 8k video filming is will be one of the first oh. yeah one thing with the 8k so it records in 8k raw and i'm not sure exactly like they haven't given the exact uh, raw format that it's going to be in yet but uh th- th- if it's something like the uh cinema raw light that they have on like the c300s or whatever the c300 uh, mark ii i think then the uh, 8K video, I calculated it, and it would be about 1.8 terabytes per hour of recording, which mm. is pretty hefty. And it'll look mm. something like this. It, this is the R, the EOS R. And from the pictures, it didn't look that different. Maybe a tad bigger, and we're talking a tad, not very much bigger. This is with the battery grip, so it is on the large side, um, the vertical grip or battery grip, you know, however you want to call it. But I, I rarely, if ever, take a vertical shot, even though all the controls are here for vertical. I, I just like it as a grip. It just gives it more heft, and it's easier to hold and everything else. But So this will be the approximate look. By the way, this lens is the um, Sigma uh, 24 to 105. This is a really nice lens. I'm loving this lens. It's a, it's a good zoom. It's very clear. It's got a lot of clarity, very sharp. Uh, not the brightest lens. I think what was this one? Four. Uh, I think it's four. Is this four all the way through? I think that or? one is four all the way through. All the way through. So f four. It's not the brightest, but it's very sharp, and yet the picture quality is 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 pretty bright when you take things with it. So it's not a a bad lens. Very comfortable to hold. It's got a nice focus ring, and it's also got a nice zoom ring. Um, it does telescope out, but. It's not too far. You can see it from here. But very comfortable camera, and and with the two batteries under here, you can get a, you can get pretty much almost a whole day shooting with this. If you're shooting nonstop, it'll probably give you about six hours of shooting. So that's not bad at all. Maybe even a little bit more. And um, and again, if you, if you're looking for a good zoom, this 24 to, to 105 is actually a very nice. It's about a $900 lens. It's a very nice zoom. Very clean. Oh, and another thing that's... Oh, go ahead, Jeff. Well, you go ahead. 
I was just oh. going to say, what does that the, the R repl does it replace anything, or is it just an additional? The R is their uh, mirrorless line, the true mirrorless line. They have the M, but it's kind of crappy. Um, mm -hmm. They're not that good. They, they they just don't give you the best view or the best pictures. They're okay. I had the M5, and it was sort of fun, but all too often I got blurry shots because it, I, either I didn't have the setting quite right, or it's just a very small camera, so it, it tends to vibrate more. Well, this is this is their professional or semi-pro M line, and the M the um, not M um, R line, and this is where all their new lenses are coming from. They're they're building a whole lineup of R lenses. They're not cheap. But everybody who's ever worked with them said they're absolutely gorgeous. That they they take beautiful pictures, very, and they have very big fronts, big you know seventy seven to eighty something millimeter light gathering lenses. They're they're really big. This is pretty big. I think this one's like eighty one or eighty two. I can't remember. It's pretty big. You can tell it's a pretty big lens. Well, and one of the other things with the M series like that, the M5 that was a little bit obnoxious was that a lot of the uh, options for the camera, a lot of the settings, you have to do, go through mini menu. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't have a lot of stuff that you could do just right away with buttons like you tend to kind of expect with a with a uh, proper camera. And uh, oh, the, the other thing I was going to say was uh, one of the big things with the uh, upcoming EOS R5 is that it's going to have... Uh, Five axis mm. in body image stabilization for the sensor. So something, you know, first I, I, time ever. Yeah, something sort of like what the GH5 has, which is, you know, the Panasonic GH5, which has fantastic uh, stabilization. Yeah. Um, <coughs> interested to see how well they execute that. Yeah, because not too many have the full five axis. Plus, I think it had I want to say fourteen or fifteen stops of of. Um, Dynamic range. Dynamic range on this, which is an enormous amount. Uh, and it was something like six or seven stops of, uh, I can't remember, at, at least six of uh, image stabilization. So that's quite a bit too. A lot of the commentators right now are saying that Sony is going to, is crying because they really don't have anything that can compete at that level with those kind of specs. Um, and, and even though Sony does have uh, IBIS built in, it's not that good. It's we had you know, to they, maybe they've gotten a little bit better, but a couple of years ago we had half half of the full Sony line, and it didn't really have very good IBIS. It wasn't bad, but it definitely wasn't anything that stood out as great. So far, I've seen nothing better than the uh, GH5, GH5S, or GH5S doesn't have it. The GH5, the G9 from Panasonic, and the Olympus camera. Some of them have really good image stabilization so it, it'll be interesting to see what they do with ibis and and we'll see if the crypt uh, the cripple hammer comes out that'll be an interesting uh <laughs> to see casey, casey casey bound to have something to do on that point. yep so, <laughs> now, you know like so we're saying about the sony so the one of the big things with the sony's in the s range was their low light in the videos yes. Is one any of these Canons uh, with a similar sort of thing that does that really good low Not light? Not to that video? extreme, but but then even the even the Sony was good. But how many times are you going to shoot in pitch dark? Not often. Mm. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, it goes up to like a hundred thousand, I think, on the ISO. So it goes pretty high. I don't. One reviewer said it, it's it's perfect at about sixty four hundred ISO, which is like almost any camera. It'll probably go up to 25,000, 50,000, okay, without an enormous amount of noise, but we'll see. I'm not sure. This thing does pretty good. You can get it up to about 25,000 or more, and it's not too bad, but you can definitely tell noise is coming in. But but again, the Sony A7, they never came out with the A7R4 or whatever they want to call it. it. They never did it. It's interesting. So nobody knows what they've been promising for three years. It never happened. But that's what I like. I like nice dark sort of shots that you can do mm -hmm. with no noise. But because it's it, that's really hard to show. Like you see, even in a lot of the you know the high end videos, just see it's it's really filmed in the light day, and they just try and darken it down in post. It yeah. just doesn't work. But, yeah. You know, and then when they do it naturally, <clears throat> you do it naturally, and you can't see things. <laughs> but you uh, you want yeah. something that's dark that. <clears throat> Like your eyes. I mean, when you get a camera that can do what your eye can see. I know. Yeah. I mean, that's. You don't realize 
what your brain can do with when you see you think how how you see you don't see noise you just no. and you, you thought you don't see you just see it or you don't and i thought it's uh it's just amazing how if we could get a camera like that because that's that's where it will open it up where you don't need lighting for it so yeah, and they also announced uh, the Canon uh, Cinema C500, no, I'm sorry, C300 oh. Mark III. So that's a brand new one that just came out, looked interesting. Yeah, oh, is that it's a little well, bigger. Uh, it's it's bigger than the C200. Um, it's, it's also a lot more money. This is $8,500, I think. I thought yeah. they were saying eleven thousand on this one, but it, oh, I'm it sorry. Is, on this is the the three hundred, three hundred Mark three. Oh, I thought it was only about eighty five, eighty six hundred right now. Oh, uh, let's see. I might have. I think they had it under nine thousand. Okay. The yeah, so the five the C five hundred I think is about eleven, twelve thousand, maybe more. Well, the C five hundred Mark two, which it was actually uh, sixteen based on, was sixteen thousand. Sixteen, yeah. but right now they're doing some massive sales. Yeah, so they might have it under so sale. So that may or be it. They, they have some temporary pricing. You know, w in December when we re got this one, because we had it, we sold it, and we got it back, it was only mm. fourteen ninety nine when we paid for it again versus twenty four hundred. So it went down quite a bit, and now it's back up to about twenty two, twenty three hundred. I don't know if they're going to lower it or not. Well, just hey, just sell it again. You'll get it even sell cheaper. It again, it'll come down again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. If you keep selling them, they'll end up giving you one. <laughs> I'll break even eventually. <laughs> That's <all right. laughs> Oh, man. So, yeah, yeah, it's sort of interesting. The only good thing about selling a camera is sometimes you get you still get the tax deduction. So at least, you know, it, it's that. You you've, were able to get rid of it as an asset. So that's not too bad. But, um, but Canon also, I think, came out with a, with a couple of not that long ago, they came out with a couple of more R, um, what were they called? R, not RP lenses. RF. R, R, RS? RF. R, RF, I'm sorry, RF lenses. Um, and I'm not, I don't remember which ones they came out with, but there were two more, I think, they came They're all expensive. They only have like one or two that are under a thousand. Mm. Yeah, I hadn't heard about those ones. They have a 35 millimeter uh, F2.0 which is really nice RF lens and I think that one's like 500 bucks that one's a good buy for 500 bucks it's, it's mostly a video lens it, it does very good video uh, and they introduced they have the 24 to 70 there was something else So the ones they've announced for 2020 are the RF 24 to 105 24 that one got good that's expensive too yeah uh, I'm not sure how much that one is but and they also announced the RF 100 to 500 mm f 4.5 to 7.1 hmm. okay that's so it's a little slower but you I know, know that's a unless you really need that range you can get the rf uh 70 to 200 with a fixed 2.8 i think it was 2.8 see the 2.8 or 4.0 and that one's yeah, about 2 .8. Hmm? yeah they, they have a 2.8 2.8 fixed and that one's what is it two uh two thousand or something like that what is that these they are not cheap lenses. No, yeah, oh. they, they don't. Yeah, it's 2700 for 2700 Yeah. Yeah, nice lens. I have the I just seven. don't like looking at I just don't like looking at any of your prices because with the way our dollar mm. is at the moment, it's everything. I just think double and then that uh, take a little bit off that and then that's <laughs> what we pay for. Well, I've been, I've been <laughs> listening to a lot of e economists and they say by the time we're done with all this COVID idiocy, we are going to be so poor as a world. <laughs> it's just going to be interesting. Uh, they're uh, saying it's going to take 18 months to bring it back uh, in terms of the money. It, it's, we've lost so much. For the Aussies out there, 2,700 U.S. dollars is 4,224 yeah. Australian dollars. Hmm. <laughs> That's almost nothing. That's good. That's a good price. The, the, the thing was, uh, you know, six years ago, Two thousand seven hundred and whatever U.S. dollars cost would in Australian dollars cost us nearly two thousand six hundred and ninety nine. We was a little bit more, <laughs> mm. <laughs> but when I know the last time I came, it was a dollar one do Australian dollar got me a dollar five American. Yeah, but interesting. I mean, now it's gone from a dollar five to sixty five cents. And oops, I'm being hmm. attacked. Ah, oh, here's Gemma. <laughs> there she is. Hi, Gemma. 
she's wanting this is said she's wanting attention so she wants att- <laughs> it's breakfast time right <laughs> no she's had she's had that she's oh, she had, had breakfast now it's just pure attention yeah, that's right yeah so <laughs> so ah good old Gemma <laughs> so is she two now Nearly, no, no, in August she'll be two. Oh, August is two. Okay. I knew we were getting close. Yeah, she's full grown at this point, right? That's, that's right, yeah. 14 months usually is about the, the full grownness, but okay. when the full grown. But How much is she get out again. Oh, probably about 26 kilos, something, 27 oh, that's kilos. All? That's all? So that's only yeah. about 60-something pounds. Oh, she looks bigger. Yeah, but that, that's good, though, because I know, like, William was, he was about 27, 30. He mm. always went through from his life from about 27 to 30 all the time, which is good, yeah. healthy, sort of, not too heavy uh, and all that. So, but, uh, but it'll so be good when... About, the, she's about... Our yeah, Rosie yeah. is, is 70, 72 pounds right now, which is probably about, not quite... Th- it's about 30 kilos, a little, a little, a little more than 30 kilos, so... Yeah. yeah, and because she keeps keeps she runs around a lot, so she's a very energetic dog. So she's uh, needs needs a lot of the energy in that, but expends it all and all that. Yep. So the, but they get very fat very easily. These dogs, if they, oh, do they? If they don't, but yeah. If you if you're not careful with them, so <laughs> you just got to watch it. So, so, so a lot of people are talking that Canon at this point may be taking. Well, they already own the whole market, but they may be really taking it back hard i think they took it i think the cripple hammer and the fact that everybody said it's the best five-year-old technology today i think they're so embarrassed by that that they i remember the president in japan saying we will not be beat by lack of technology anymore and so they've been coming out with stuff now that looks pretty evolutionary and revolutionary they're really making some changes it'll be interesting and and especially with you know the troubled times at the moment, things like the, the the big companies like the Canon, they will be the only ones left because all the ones that are just going uh, trading on the edge will just go under, won't they? Whereas someone right now, won't yeah, I don't think Olympus is going to make it. I mean, they were uh, dying already. Um, Panasonic does okay, but they're nowhere near as big as as a Canon or Sony. And Sony has kind of hit a little bit of a plateau. They're not kicking like they were five years ago they the competition has kicked up so it'll be interesting to see what they come up with to keep up with competition now as they went from leader to now they're going to be leading in a short time so it's you know it's funny how the whole industry leapfrogs itself and nikon just may go under they're still hurting even though they came out with the z line or the z line for um for the mirrorless it wasn't enough so it'll be interesting to see they make good cameras but uh, they're not they don't have the amount of sales that they used to and they even publish records of being at in financial distress so it's going to be interesting to see but i mean the thing is a lot of the companies that say i know it's all due to this uh you know to this the, the pandemic and all that but like a lot of them like we've had companies i don't like we had the the virgin airlines in australia mm. yeah that's gone nearly up but they said oh, has well, it? hang on hmm. yeah but they said but hang on the five billion dollars in debt it said it was tinkering on that before <laughs> that you don't get five billion dollars of debt in two months no <laughs> he said no be, and by the way nikon up. was in terrible straits two years ago so mm. you know it, these but are not the when, you're trading, when you're trading on the edge and you know you just don't like you have one week's worth of sales people not having and that's really mm-hmm. damaging to a lot of it is. Uh, come well, they so said the ones who bought it, they're the only ones that's going to survive, I think, from this. Yeah, so it'll be interesting what happens to the smaller vendors and everything else because, it, and, you know, who's going to have the money to buy these expensive cameras anymore? That's what a lot of people are saying. It's money is going to get tight. They, they're saying salaries are going to get tight. It'll, I mean, I think the U.S. printed almost eight, nine trillion dollars in the last month or so. It's a, it's an enormous amount of money. I mean, this is all non-real. <laughs> it's just made but, up I mean, money. The, the thing is, is if the the way our economy's gone over the past twenty years is, there's something you want, get it. Mm-hmm. Whereas you know, before that, you know, you something you want, can you afford it? Can no, you, afford it? you don't get it. 
And you waited, you and you waited until thing. you could afford it. Yeah, that those days are gone. They may be back. No, no I think that's what the, the, the will be back, because people say, I've got $1,000. Mm -hmm. Hang on. What if I don't get another $1,000? I want that to... No, I'll wait. I'll wait. And yeah. so I'll put it in the back. And, the and I think... And I think Amazon, I think, I think Best Buy, and some of those are going to really be struggling to make sales of the higher ticket items. Mm, because people will say, like, but really, like, if you go through your life, I could save a fortune on things, and you'd have lots of money. Mm -hmm. But I thought there's no point being alive, though, is there? <laughs> no, <laughs> we can't why, even eat out. We can't even. We can't even go out to eat. You know, it's just sort of ridiculous. <laughs> But I thought even when things are good, if you really want to save things, you say, oh, well, I don't go. But now you we're living that. You don't go out. You don't do this. You're saving money because you're not doing it. But it's not very nice living. So that's no. why we enjoy <laughs> spending money and doing that. But it's uh, it's trying to, going to get the economy back where people be comfortable to spend the that's right. spend the money. So even then, so that will be good when it gets going. I feel like I'm helping the economy if I'm wasting me money on something I don't need. So that I'll be helping the economy there. Yep. <laughs> well, anyway, we are out of time. Just about. Mm. That went fast. Half hour, of more than half hour. Well, about 31 minutes. Yeah, I think we started a bit early, I think. Yeah, about a sorry. couple minutes early, yeah. So anyway, well, if you're watching the show, or if you can get pulled off of Netflix for a quick moment out there, and you are watching the show, we will see you next week on Tech Down Over. Have a good one, everyone. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the imprisonment. And don't buy much. We're not done yet. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.